Have you ever glanced towards the sky and noticed a group of Canada geese flying in a V formation? This is not a mere spectacle, but a unique strategy that these birds have evolved over time to aid their migration. The Canada geese, with their distinctive black heads and necks, white patches on the face, and large bodies, are a sight to behold, especially when they take to the skies in their hundreds and thousands. This behavior, as fascinating as it is, is not exclusive to them. A myriad of other migratory birds also demonstrate this pattern. But the question remains, why do these avian creatures choose to fly in such a manner? Is it a random decision, or does it hold a deeper significance? Could it be an artistic expression of their freedom in the skies, or does it serve a more practical purpose? What could be the reason behind this intriguing formation? Is it merely for aesthetics, or does it serve a more practical purpose? The V formation is not just a beautiful sight, it's an excellent example of natural engineering at its best. Let's dive into the fascinating science that makes this spectacle possible. When a Canada goose flaps its wings, it creates an upwash, an airflow that rises and swirls behind it. This upwash creates a pocket of reduced air resistance, or drag. Now, imagine another bird flying directly behind the first, perfectly positioned in this aerodynamic sweet spot. The second bird experiences less wind resistance, enabling it to maintain speed while expending less energy. This is precisely what happens in the iconic V formation. Each bird, except the first, flies in the upwash of the bird in front. This arrangement reduces wind resistance for the entire flock, making their long migratory journey more manageable. Quite ingenious, isn't it? But what about the first bird? The leader, as you might guess, has the toughest job. It doesn't benefit from the upwash and has to work harder than the others. But don't worry, the geese have a solution for this too. They take turns leading the flock. When the leading bird gets tired, it falls back into the formation, and another bird takes over the leading role. This rotation allows all birds to share the energy-demanding task of leading, ensuring no single bird gets overly fatigued. The V formation also provides the birds with an excellent line of sight, allowing each bird to see the others. This visual connection is crucial for communication and coordination among the flock during their journey. So it's clear that the V formation is a perfect blend of aerodynamics, energy conservation, and teamwork. It's a testament to the remarkable adaptability and intelligence of these birds. In conclusion, the V formation is not just about maintaining a pattern, it's about survival and efficiency during long migratory journeys. Through cooperation and smart positioning, the Canada geese have turned a challenging journey into an achievable and even beautiful event. The V formation of Canada geese is a testament to the incredible adaptability and intelligence of these creatures. This behavior, which we've come to recognize as a delightful display in our skies, is actually a survival strategy of the highest order. These geese have mastered the art of energy conservation, enabling them to embark on journeys across vast distances without faltering. In this formation, each bird, in turn, experiences reduced wind resistance, allowing them to maintain their strength for longer. The lead bird, bearing the brunt of the wind, is periodically replaced within the formation, ensuring no single bird is overly fatigued. This natural phenomenon is a stunning display of teamwork and efficiency, a testament to the survival strategies of these birds. It's a dance choreographed by nature, a ballet in the sky. So next time you see a V formation in the sky, remember, it's not just a spectacle. It's a testament to nature's ingenuity and the remarkable survival strategies of these birds. It's a lesson of teamwork and efficiency painted on the canvas of the sky.